mentioned the words Peugeot and Hot Hatch and it's only a matter of time before the numbers 2, 0 and 5 come up. Unfortunately for the French car maker though, every baby Hot Hatch that's produced since the 80s has failed to live up to the iconic status of its full bearer. Yes, it really was that good. Up step then, the 208 GTI. As you might expect, the GTI is a lower, leaner and meaner version of the Super Mini. It's powered by a 200 brake horsepower, 1.6 litre turbocharged engine, which is good for 0-60 in just under 7 seconds. The steering wheel is meaty but incredibly small. In fact, it feels like you're steering using a dinner plate. However, the steering is incredibly fast, albeit the response being a little vague. The combination of wide front and rear axles and a tuned suspension means it's agile and the stability control means you can put it to the limits with reasonable amounts of confidence. The brakes are pretty good too, as too is the six-speed gearbox. Drive it carefully and it should return an average fuel economy of around 50 miles per gallon, but push it hard and that figure will nearly half. While the exterior doesn't look like a small hatch on steroids, there's enough to differentiate it from more mainstream models in the lineup. Peugeot Sport badges are added on the C-pillars, harking back to the same treatment given to the old 205, and there are a few neat features like styling on the grill and even rear daytime tail lamps that have a 3D claw effect that ties in with the Peugeot Lion. The dash is neatly laid out, but the small steering wheel will take some getting used to as it can impede the dials that are in front of you. The Alcantara seats are very supportive and figure hugging and exactly what you need when you find yourself flinging the car down a country lane. The steering wheel too is also fully adjustable. Equipment is generous with cruise and climate control as standard, as well as a seven inch touchscreen infotainment system that features DAB, Bluetooth and a mirror screen that works with some phones. Satnav though is a cost option. The 208 GTI is only available as a three door and getting in the back is a little tricky and a tad compact for larger rear occupants. The boot is roughly the same size as the Ford Fiesta ST and split folding rear seats mean that it can be extended. It's also a decent size and shape, however, should you find yourself loading heavier items, you will have to consider this high lip. The 208 GTI is the closest that Peugeot has come to reviving some of that magic of the 205 GTI. However, it still falls short in too many areas, the biggest being price. It is noticeably more expensive than the Ford Fiesta ST. 